fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, y'all? Hold on, y'all. We just talked about it, and Clarence got the Levines on in his IG store. I'm getting them. Um, y'all, first of all, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in. You dig what I'm saying? This is Messy Monday. Y'all already know how we do. Been rocking with Messy Monday since... It's been like three, four years. Like, he can't put out a messy Monday without me reacting to it via y'all, okay? So, let's get into it, but you got to see me. Hello. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, lot, lot going on. it's, lot, lot going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit Got my sugar honey iced tea Do you wanna sip now? Period I said what I said Now move along bitch Before you get red P.O.P. You can't stick with me Come on girls Let's get Let me see my Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, like I always say, you made it through another week. You should be proud of yourself. People are going through depression, heartbreaks, killings and everything but god or whatever higher power you believe in saw fit for you to be here today so you should be grateful so let's shout yourself out for making it through another week all right now before we start this show i want to give a shout out to my friend and that is destiny hey, bitch. destiny thank you so much for having my post notifications turned on on twitter you are active you comment you repost and things like that um i don't know what we're gonna do too much longer if you know we say we gotta boycott twitter but girl as of right now bitch shout out to you for being my girl on twitter so i'm taking the time out to show you my appreciation for appreciating me why we boycotting Twitter? All right, boo. Hey, bitch. Okay, so um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the shit with the mess because last week was a whole lot, a whole lot of, but it's kind of redundant. It's the same people all the time, every week, fussing about the same shit, tweeting thousands of posts. And it's like, girl, at this point, we don't even want to talk about you. So I got the stuff that I felt was the biggest topics I put them together, and we're just going to put it in all the mess together but i'm still gonna shout it out the shit the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit first of all get we got janet Blue face and christian rock which is about to get on my everlasting motherfucking nerves okay <laughs> i'm tired of them At everlasting motherfucking nerves this point is every day every week every month every second every minute hey cuz you good you good you sleep. You good, cuz? He trying to make us pay for Twitter? Ah, oh, that's why I never liked Twitter. What's up? There's a lot going on, you know that? There's a lot of there's a going on. When can we get some time away from y'all? Can y'all delete our number from the group chat? Can y'all just do what the fuck you want to do on your own time? Because at this point, it, it's, it's draining. If y'all gonna fuck, fuck. If y'all gonna fight, fight. If y'all gonna do whatever, do whatever. But bitch, why the fuck do we gotta know? It's like y'all fuss just to get back together. Well, what's the point of even fussing? She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere, and he gonna do what the fuck he wanna do, so why is there a problem? So anyway, the baby mama took her ass on a fucking podcast interview, wherever the fuck she took her ass on, why she on it, I don't fucking know, but she went on there, and this is what she had to say. Like, I'm just chilling, like, I'm not, I'm vibing, we vibe, we work. Cool. You want it all, or? <laughs> Like, that's my family forever, but mm -hmm. I'm not, the woman I've grown up to be, like, is not, I'm not, like, chasing that no more, so if you wanna be on that, go be on that. If I needed some birthday, I'm gonna get some birthday. Like, right. So you basically have no respect for Krishan and Blueface's relationship. No, nah, I don't give a. F it's 
<laughs> it's I don't give a right. Why though? Uh, because when me and him was in a relationship, ain't nobody show me no respect. To me, you just sound stupid. You sound dumb as fuck. And also in that same interview, you mentioned how you want to tell women that they should not have to deal with domestic violence and they should seek help and things like that. But then your dumb ass turned around, got pregnant by the man who's doing domestic violence on somebody and you laying in the bed with him while he with a woman that he beating on. Bitch, shut the fuck up, stupid. How the fuck you gonna give advice but you doing the same shit to See why I don't want to talk about these people. I'm not gonna lie. If I was a man and Krishan swung on me, I had a scrapper. <laughs> From watching that live the other day, and the way she's act, she's real antagonistic. That does not mean he's supposed to put his hands on her. He shouldn't be dealing with her at all. But she's very antagonistic. So I'm not on like the, um, fucking Krishan is just getting beat up. Like she be whooping his ass. So it's only human for a nigga to hit you back. How the hell you gonna speak on somebody else's mental health but can't even see your own? You got a problem too, sweetie. Like bitch, you really thought you ate that up, sis? Give me your plate, ho. Give it to me, cause you ain't eat shit. That's nothing but leftovers in your motherfucking plate. Leftover bullshit that you ain't got rid of. And then, to be honest, you the dumb one. You the one who keep having his children. She ain't had one yet. But you got so much to say about her. So, how do you feel about her having seven tattoos of blue face on, tatted on her body? Childish, it's not. First of all, why the fuck y'all only asking me questions about Krishan? This is what I would ask you. Mental stability not there. <laughs> like I mean, I wish I was that in love with somebody. I've never been that in love. I, and why does she wish she was that in love with somebody? I don't. I don't even have. Do you have blue face tattoos on you anywhere? Stupid. Um. Yeah. Is it his face? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Just his name. Just his name. You sat there and called that girl borderline stupid for having that man face tattoo on her. But then you trying to say, oh, his name tattooed on my ass though. <laughs> Anyway, so then Krishan came back and she tweeted the tell the interview that bitch wanted me, um, but she could only settle for what her budget could get. <laughs> and then she turned around and said, girl, because she always tagged me in her stuff, telling Krishan to give me her answers and whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. So then she said to the baby mama, you talking about your baby, they like, you decide, bitch. No points for any parties in this situation. So then that's when Blueface come out and he takes up for the baby mama. And then she come back and she tell him, oh, not you mad about the disturbing lies that I did about you and domestic violence and woo woo woo. And they just chit chatter back and forth like little chihuahuas barking and bullshit. And I'm not about to read all this because it's the same shit every day, every second, every week. If you want to know, bitch, pause the video because I'm not about to read all this shit like we always do. They drug it out. They show messages so all right let me clear the little air the whole and y'all always wonder why i be skipping this shit i don't already covered this video uh, spill about when i was what I, what I tweeted it had nothing to do with i'm talking about the people who ain't on twitch with the interviewer like i was basically saying if you're going to interview somebody give them their flowers don't be talking about the people and the issues around her like that have nothing to do with her like you feel me like you're not we, why are you talking about his and like every question was really like I'm tagged in Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. So I just, you know me, I'm just going to tweet about sh speak on me. Two, how are you going to take up for a sh Come on, bro. And the only real reason why you taking up for her because you really feel some type of way about that live that was so disturbing for the world to see, bro. Don't be playing with me. It was kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, as a man, I wouldn't be able to take her serious. They was asking personal questions yesterday on that live about like how she feel about Blue and like personal questions. She had zero answers. She wanted him to answer the questions. They asking you the question and you want him to answer the question, sir. She just genuinely is infatuated with the dick. 
Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he want to do that. Like, that's exposing her. Nigga, so you mad she doing the same shit you doing to her? She with you because it's beneficial, and you with her because it's beneficial. Because without her, then you wouldn't have shit without you. And that bullshit y'all going through, she wouldn't have shit. So really, y'all just using each other, if you really ask me. So can y'all just use each other on your own time, please? And thank you. But to be honest, the reason I really don't give a fuck when they be arguing is because at the end of the day, they're going to continue to go back doing this bullshit right here. And will you ever tattoo rock name on you, though? What the f would you have? <laughs> you can be a honey. He's so over it. I don't care if it's bad or not. I love you regardless. The energy is just not good. Hey, tell him. Just say no. Sure, someday. For real? Oh, that was cute. For real? Are you lying? Yeah. He lying. So you are lying. <laughs> No, I'm not lying. I said, I said sure, so. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm accident. I didn't mean to say, yeah, but you said, are you lying? You yeah. lying. Give me my bottle. Yeah, someday. How you just sit there and drink the whole bottle, y'all? Like, no. <laughs> That's just, like, not good. Terrible. And one you sitting just fucked up. Ain't they so blue? When could y'all go get a baby from you? That's the next question. Mm. He's trying to do it now. Why can't you just say it? I didn't even see this part, y'all. Say what? I'm shooting. I'm, just say you're shooting your shot. I'm shooting in the gym, okay? I stay in the gym, practicing. <laughs> you know I mean? Give me a kiss. I stay in the... Come here, daddy. I stay shooting. Daddy, you feel come me? Here. Come on, ask the next I question. I say this every time. I am praying for this generation because if y'all think that that shit was cute, that is disgusting. Mama was wasted out of her mind. He don't give a fuck about it. They talking about bringing a baby into this toxic bullshit. And you wonder why all these kids growing up now have depression, mental problems, and going through bullshit. Look at the parents. Look what you're bringing them into. I pray he don't have no baby with her. This what y'all like, this what y'all praise, and this is what y'all put y'all relationship goals on. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it next case. Next little ducket, we got Johnny Blaze versus. I never told y'all what I was eating dinner. Um, honey sauce took me to this place called Bourbon Street something. And this fries with they bourbon ranch fries or some shit. These motherfuckers <laughs> boss them. Now, baby, this is crazy. I ain't How said nothing to y'all. By your ex boyfriend, but he over here fucking on some other heifer. She doesn't believe that you're here, so you need to look at the camera so she can see that you're actually here. See. I'm not fucking lying. There, right there. What? Johnny, there, right there. What? Johnny Blaze, this is not an old video. She wants you to say hi. Say, say hi. Open your eyes and tell her hi because she doesn't believe me. Hi. So while he fucking her, he kind of back fucking you and you know he fucking her? Or you didn't know he was fucking her and then you found out he was fucking her and then you mad? And you know what? Okay, play it with me. My ex keep it low. You know what it is? I've been hiding this person that I am. I am toxic. I am. <laughs> I am a lot. So then after she sent the video, that's when uh, Johnny come out saying she three weeks pregnant. Well, baby, <laughs> I know we ain't down for, you know, abortions and stuff, but three weeks, that go on and do what you need to do. Yo, Zoe has no filter.
He really told me he don't give a fuck about what he say on this bitch. Because if this man is, baby. <laughs> Y'all, that nigga said, go on, do what you need to do. Cause bitch. Y'all so fucking dumb. He always used protection, bro. There's no way you are pregnant. That is big cat. And we made it clear that we are friends. Stop that. I'm not your ex, yo. Ladies, ladies, stop getting pregnant by dudes who don't want you. For real. They don't. Okay? Yeah, stop stop. Fucking them. And this is embarrassing. This man that told you y'all ain't even exes. He said y'all just friends. Better get friends with benefits. How this man don't give a damn about you or that baby. And even <laughs> if you Ryan, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> just stand up and goddamn roll. Okay. <laughs> Nigga said plan C. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Nah, for real. Somebody gonna say we you being disrespectful, but we ain't talking about nobody else's situation. We just talk about her, child. It was a joke. You are pregnant. Why would you want to keep a baby by somebody who already letting you know he don't want to have nothing to do with you or the baby and don't believe that he not got you pregnant? I'm not even gonna do the best. Friend, you ain't gonna get a card, a motherfucking happy Mother's Day, or nothing from this nigga. Let it go. And denying and stuff. Everybody know how I am. Everybody knows you've been around me. You decided to lie about something, and she felt the need to send me videos to prove that she was with you while you were drunk. And that's cool. You in Florida. I showed what the results were and what was going on. And now you deny it. It's cool with me. Like, everybody that know me, I usually am very rowdy and going off. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm not even trying to do that. Like, right now, I'm just chilling. Girl, you don't have the energy because you pregnant. <laughs> no, no negative vibe, no nothing. No it's energy. Just You're me. pregnant as hell. Staying to myself, y'all. I posted it. She fell some way, whoever you're with in Florida. And this escalated to here. And now you're trying to deny it only because you're out there with them, with her. So I'm not going to do that. Not for my not vibration. This damn not for my, my sanity. Hand sanitizing on turning the soap. All I can do damn. right now is just be chilling because it's on the internet. There's no point in me saying, oh, this is not true or whatever. It's what it is. Okay, you don't believe me. You don't want to do any of that fine when you get back home we could take a test together or whatever you want to do and move forward but i'm not doing this i refuse to do that and the funny thing to me is child get off the internet and do what you need to do okay we can't help you we can't fix this why are you telling us the man didn't deny being with the girl they be telling us because they want us to react to it People be wanting us to talk about this shit. That's why I would never fumble another bag. I would never, I would never in my life fumble another bag. The man denied the baby, and they he be denied wanting you us to talk ex. about this shit. It's time for you to get the feeling of that doctor's office because, baby, at this point, the choice is yours to have this baby. He let you know he with the bitch, and that baby ain't here. <sighs> and child, even if you do do a blood test, want or the whatever, algorithm to be about them, up, or he probably gonna pop up, get the blood, and still ain't gonna take care of the baby. So, baby. If you really want me to be real, the word on the curve is you've done this before with several artists. They said it was Drake and some others. So, girl, I don't know. And where them babies at? So, uh, oh lord, I'm trying to figure out how threatening a pregnant girl Oof. is cool. Oof. Huh? Hey, Nari. Hey. hey. Not threatening. Tell me he gonna beat me up. Yeah. Like, we'll see if you're lying about this. I will fuck you up my damn self. Damn. The messages. <sighs> Y'all see how she said, how she spelled fail? Lord have mercy. And I'm just like, girl, if you're going through all this and you only three minutes pregnant. Okay. 
He is showing you what type of father he's going to be. Why? All right, y'all. We're going to talk about this whole me being a baby daddy to Johnny Blaze and shit. Her saying I'm I'm the baby daddy and she's pregnant and shit like that. So we're going to go through this. Here's a form right here. She posted this form right here. If you look up there, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Got her name, date, uh, births, and everything like that. Okay, but check this out. Y'all do see that, right? Okay, so that's supposedly her urine, right? That says three, right? Look at that chart. It says five to 50, three weeks. But this says three. Hold on, though. You said you're three weeks pregnant, right? What's this date right here? Data collected. Data reported. 10-10. This whole thing came out around November 1st or 2nd. You're three weeks pregnant, right? So you've been holding this form since 10-13? And you're now three weeks pregnant. This test was three weeks ago. So what, you six You six weeks pregnant? And your results don't even say that. This is funny, though. I ain't gonna lie. This is pretty funny. Damn. <laughs> Niggas is not playing today about that sperm. <laughs> Gag report version 1.0. Like, come on, my nigga. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, y'all thought, thought I was done? Nah. Let's go to the other form. All right, so boom, y'all. This is the fake report right here. You see that? Fake. Everything. Everything looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. Go ahead, pause it if you need to look. Hey, man, if y'all want a fake pregnancy test, this is where y'all go, man. What the uh, It's called babymaybe.com or some shit like that. Nah, that's you wanna fake, crazy. You want to try to hold and shit, then, you know what I'm saying, this is where you go. Okay. Yo, that's bad. Okay, y'all, so she recently sent me this, you know what I'm saying, saying, oh, it's positive. Still fake, y'all. And let me show you. All right, so now look at this. Take a good look, pause the look, rewind, because I'm about to show y'all something. Look at that. Uh -huh. Clear response. Uh -huh. Results five days sooner. Whatever the f*** this shit say, whatever's bullshit. <sighs> oh, no. <clears throat> Y'all, it's eight dollars, man. I'm trying to trying to trick somebody. Go ahead and prank your friends, and you know, what I'm saying, prank everybody, prank everybody. You want to know? Look, man, clear response, bro. <sighs> so all I had to do was type clear response and easy found it. You know what I'm saying? Prank pregnancy test, like. Damn. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? Or y'all still gullible? I don't you know. I don't care, because look at this. Shit. So if it was real, like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to go to gag reports. I mean, you don't got to do all that, bro. Like, go to a real... Point is, y'all gullible. I'm not... So the clear pregnancy test is only fake. They don't have no real ones? No baby daddy. She's not pregnant. All I'm going to say is... <laughs> fetus, delete us. Give it back to Jesus, okay? If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's get key. Next game. Next on the docket, we have Nick the Stallion, Ice Spice, and I think it's pronounced Alexis or Alex, I don't know, versus Drake. Now, this is crazy. Drake put everybody on the chopping block. And oh, then clear he put, blue, the real one. Woo! He talked about, and I said, I know you fucking lie. Now, Ice Spice, <laughs> He said the person couldn't rap, but she a 10. And she came back out and she said, well, at least I'm a 10. And everybody was like, well, how do you know he talking about you? Well, you know, a hit dog or holler. But, I got nothing to do with me. Because, you know, when everybody rap that song, all they say is, uh, what's, the, what's the shit? What's the word? He think he a much? He's a much? What is it? Point proven. <laughs> Then we move along, and he talked about Serena Williams' husband. Dubbing a movie, sidebar, Serena, your husband. Uh-uh. One of her back in 2011. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Remember that, Dre? You wanted Serena. You liked her. You was a fan of Serena. You surely were. Remember this tweet? 
Serena, I can't wait to put it on you and make you sweat during our match. What? Because remember, you used to go to her games and watch her from the stands. And then all of a sudden, y'all start playing tennis matches together. Then, allegedly, y'all started dating. Who started off as the fans? Drake love all his women, BBW. What did he say? The type to suck you dry and then eat some lunch with you? Some shit like that. So thick, everybody in the room is so uncomfortable. Yeah, Drake like him thick. And then you drop. I hope he got the dick to back it up. Okay. The name right on the nothing was the same. Worst behavior. And then remember that little battle you had with an ex boyfriend, Common. Drake, leave this woman man alone. You still got a thing for Serena. Just say that or let it go because you just continue to always just. Nag at her men. What's the tea, sir? <laughs> I don't know. But then the next thing that caused the uproar was between the Megan situation. Getting shots, but she's still no, ma'am. Girl, I think he's talking about you and whoop, whoop, whoop. And she was like, no, he's not. He ain't talking about me. But then I guess she heard the song. And then when she heard the song, she came back and said, people always keep her name in their mouth. And I was like, girl, she done heard the song, girl. Child, and it just went crazy. People now he give light skin little dick friend. It's some light skin men out here that got schlonkers. I know one. And his thing will make you uncomfortable. Like, nigga, where the hell is that going? <laughs> where is that going? <laughs> start coming up that hammy. No, sir. He ain't said nothing because he never gonna say nothing because he always like, you know, he love a little controversy. So then Megan's lawyer came out and he said this. Uh, across the industry, but those those people are going to look very silly uh, when the facts fully come out here. Very silly, and it's going to be troubling, and it's going to be a stain that stays with them. Here you have real people. people Why do I know one friend? Come on now. I'm a woman. I've seen a ding a ling or two. Jesus, right? People that know each other, that are part of an artist community. Um, some people that I know personally. And they're saying things and, and taking a position on something that I just cannot fathom why they're doing that. And 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 I just know the profound regret they're going to have when the facts and the truth come out. And that's when Yadi came out and he said this. I feel like I said it twice, but y'all saying my signal broke up. So what I said was this is loud like, again. Like what I was saying is that like I was addressing was his like line because I know, oh, I know nah. he's not going to address it. I said it. that then. The fuck? What you put in that? Where is that going? <laughs> Where? Y'all y'all ever did that? Fuck with a dude and then it was time to get to it and you was like, oh, that? uh, sir, I didn't ask for that, all of that. <laughs> so, like I know he's because I just know Drake. So this is love I get it's about women lying about their butt shots. You know, like saying this is real when it's fake. I believe Yachty. I mean, it is what it is. You mean to tell me you don't called out all these people, but that one line My baby daddy, but it hug, hugged it Boy, out. Stop. What? <laughs> Boy, stop. I just feel like if you are just breathe cool with Megan, <laughs> why would you even make a line oh, that you thug close? It out. To been there, nigga. something Serve the dealing door. with her situation. <laughs> now, if y'all been keeping up with the Twitter beef. Y'all know he cool with Nikki and Nikki like his sister. And on that Twitter beef, Nikki been at it with Megan on the low and with, you know, Cardi and all them other ones publicly. And I don't know, maybe that was a problem. Bait Megan in and make Megan say something so then the sus can come back and fire back at the bitch for coming back at the brother. I don't know, <laughs> but it's a smart little tactic. I ain't gonna fool me about no butt shots. I don't believe it. I, I think it was about butt shots. However, it, the analogy fit for Megan regardless. It was almost like he said that shit was probably like, they gonna think I'm talking about her, but I want them to, but I'm really not. I'm not talking about her at all. Believe me, and I ain't gonna fall for it. Bitch, you got to lie. I know how this messy shit work. Nice, nasty. Mm y'all is really something in these streets but anyway y'all go down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation do y'all think it was towards megan or do you really believe what yadi said it was about butt shots for girls still looking like a stallion <laughs>
If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next. Speaking of these men, why do men send pics of their Ling Ling smaller than your average pinky? Girl. We got Penny, your Miami. And be talking about it'll grow. And Daddy Joy. Uh, this really isn't messy. To me, I just say let grown folks do grown folks and we mind our business, okay? If they are happy, what the fuck can we say about it? Now, what the word on the curb is, they are saying he gives more attention and seems more happy when he's with Young Miami. But Daphne, so she's trying to compete with Young Miami and say, oh, look, he loves me more. Child, I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, he dating both y'all. So really, nobody's better than the other. Even if he does give somebody more love, he's still fucking with both of you. So at his birthday, I guess he had both his If I was Young Miami, I'm talking about the way she playing her role is effortlessly. Like that song, Act Up, really stands for young. It's your Miami, man. I can't around my say. Like this is her. <laughs> like young Miami is that girl. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Women there and whatever. Who? She acting so proper for the billionaire. Okay, billionaire. Hello. Um. Uh, Daphne, the one who gonna fuck it up. I don't know what Daphne got on him, but he ain't letting her go yet. But she acting up. The case may be on my Sit your little ass him, down, uh, girl. A necklace. Oh, yeah. Somebody put this song. That's his son. Yeah. <laughs> no, ma'am. That chain fire. Happy birthday, Poppy. Daphne ended up giving him a cake. Some people were saying the cake was an insider. From what I was getting on the world on the curb, I was getting that it was an inside about her, him, and 50 Cent. Remember how Kanye was saying that, uh, what was it? Kanye was saying that Diddy was the feds. And Out of all cakes. <laughs> and then Diddy. <laughs> I would have cut off. Something about 50 cents. And she would have got cut off that day. Get a lot of get, girl, a whole lot, a whole lot, if you ask me. I'm not thinking that deep, but it kind of made sense with the, the yellow tape and the police shit, but whatever. Don't get me lying. I don't even know. That's not my tax bracket. But at the end of the day, they both posted up on their story. She over here spinning the block on them, and she over here blessed and highly favored with them. So, child... <laughs> If this is the new thing that y'all people are doing and praising and that they're trying to push onto the black community, then y'all have multiple women and men and just make sure you're out here getting tested. Yo, this is not no thing they pushing on the black community. This been a thing. It's just that now you got niggas who are seriously going to tell you the truth. Like, listen, I ain't even finna play with you. You know I'm Diddy. I'm a billionaire. I fuck with you. I ain't no disrespect. I ain't saying I could buy you nothing. But what I am gonna tell you is I'm single. I wanna be single. My motherfucking baby mama just passed away a couple years ago. I'm still in love with her. You know what I'm saying? He loved the shit out that woman. You know what I'm saying? And to be quite frank with you, I want to be single and, and, and find me. Hell. But in the meantime, I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna fuck with her. I'm gonna fuck with her. Cool with that or not? Bitch would have been like, absolutely. Where you? Where we going, Daddy? <laughs> where we going, Daddy? I push the work for you, Daddy. Whatever that song is. Fuck is you talking about? It's a fucking billionaire. And I'm single. And Daddy don't give a fuck about what they doing. Just be there when I call you. I don't care about what you doing. Play with them little boys. When I, when this man call you though, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Girl, but. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to fuck with you on Friday, but I'm going to tell you right now, Diddy called me, bitch, I'm out. Okay? Because Diddy's sending the jet. <laughs> Diddy is sending the jet to come get me. Okay? Diddy is sending the black car. And I can buy my own, but why not spend his money? What the fuck you talking about? And he's being honest with me? I even know who the bitches is? Listen, Trey, I'm coming to see you on Thursday, but Friday morning, I'm on a red eye. Got a jet pulling up from Diddy. And the nigga, the, the nigga Trey ain't tripping either. He like, all right, bet. What's she? Because she paying for the dick too. You know what I'm saying? Ah. If I were single, I would play this game. I, with them. With them, though. 
I'm talking about with Diddy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do it, you gotta respect. You gotta respect anybody that keeps it on. Somebody else doing it. Got they y'all all doing it. How By the-, the way, he just brought, I believe, his own airline, or he just brought his own jet, but he called it Combs Air. You think I'm gonna be clocking what you doing? <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to see me, cause you gonna wanna see me. I'm talking about, I know Miami over there doing cartwheels, headstands, race car riding all on the dick, okay? <laughs> he gonna call me, I promise you. He'll call me, I ain't tripping. Just want see when I see him. Fat, you nasty, about? sweaty, stinking orgies and just fuck each other. Oh, I can't. Nah. nah. I, I would be all anyway, up in that shit. Well, he sure is making 53 look fun. If it ain't about me, let's get key. Next case. Next on the docket, we have Rose Ray versus. And the just became the wealthiest man in the cannabis business, friend. Oh. I forgot a while back, Young Miami and Roland Ray were going at it. One, because it was between him and Saucy Santana. And then I guess she came up and she took up for her friend. Because as we all know, her and Saucy are like this. So then he ended up clapping back at her. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. So then she came back. She was talking about him in the wheelchair and this and that. They were both saying some things that were actually really hurtful to each other. But speaking on the dead, I do feel is pushing it to the limit. So child, he came back months later after he's done been through hell and hot water, literally, and he told her he was sorry. I can't watch this. Basically, he's saying he he feel like he wrong, dead ass wrong for what he said about her um her her baby father that's dead. And um, he apologized. I can't listen to that. Respectful. Two different things. But anyway, y'all going to come and tell me what y'all think. Should she forgive him? Should she not? It is what it is. But whatever the case may be, if it ain't about me, I'm going to keep key. Next okay? Next one, okay? We have Summer Walker versus Larry. Now, when I saw this, I was like, okay, at this point, Summer, it's you. You're the problem. Cause I wasn't gonna read all this. I was like, bitch, I'm not gonna read that. You got me fucked up, no ma'am. That's bitch this and this. No, who finna read that? But some says no. Take the time out to read what Summer had to say. So now I don't feel Summer's the problem. I just feel Summer ain't dealing with bullshit. Now when you take the time to actually read what she wrote, it was a whole lot. She just said, you know what? Um, she wanted to have her children by a certain age. I think the age of 25, and she got her children. And she also said. When she's with somebody, there's certain things that she will and will not tolerate. And when you cannot give her what she wants, she's going to leave. There are women out here who want to deal with domestic violence. There's women out here who want to deal with getting cheated on. There are women out here who get cheated on and just say, hey, I accept the gifts. There are women. It's so crazy. It's that many men out here beating on women. And they still alive. That's so crazy. Out here who don't know their self-worth. But she said with her, she don't care if she has a baby or not. She's going to leave you. The point is, she wanted her children at a certain age. With or without a man, she wanted her children. And she got her children. So she don't regret having her children. But she's not going to have her children and stay with a man that will not respect her. And I can only respect that. Now, if she laid down with these men thinking it was going to make them fall in love with her and she stayed with them, woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, girl, they ain't just having babies with these men. No, but she's having babies. She had babies because she wanted babies, left them because they couldn't get right or act right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't think so either. No, (laughs) I just went, I get her. Um, But she said her and Larry are still friends. They remain friends. There's no bad blood. They're cool with each other. It's just, I guess, he was doing some things or he might have done something that she didn't agree with. And instead of trying to stay with him, she decided to part ways. He comes on social media. He says this right here. Internet is one hell of a drug. Don't let the internet determine your happiness. Don't go to the internet for validation. This is an app for entertainment. Work, take care of your kids, travel the world, and live. Don't let anything you can't control determine your happiness. So, child, I guess he saw what she said about, you know, when somebody can't get right, then she leaves. So, I don't know what he did. And he's probably trying to come up here to do damage control, baby. But at the end of the day, 
they still remain friends because they came up and they posted this video about a girl DMing him wanting to do OnlyFans for two hundred thousand dollars. Bro, wait. You said somebody was trying to pay you two hundred bands. Somebody was trying to pay me two hundred to do, to do what? To link to f or something. Well, go get it. I'm telling you, what she okay. have to show it to you alone. No, I'm serious. Go get it. I know. I'm and bring it back. Word. Who, whoever was trying to pay, um, is you recording is me? good <laughs> as f Yo, come I on. think two hundred is is worth it. Shorty, can you get the camera off me? No, this is hilarious. Go get the money. Become an OnlyFans man. I can really make some millions real quick. For you sure. could. It's good. Like, go all right. You should. All right. You better stop telling these women this. Oh, no, th no th I'm, this is the promo. <laughs> this is the promo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes some will be saying some stuff and then she'll go back and contradict herself. And it's just, you know, but I think she's just mad. Well, he got a big old thing. All right. Now, they're going to get back together. They, it, she went back to Wes's name. They just had a little argument. She came on, vented to us. And now she's gonna go back to him. It is what it is. Go get y'all 200,000. Maybe y'all could be in the video together. I don't fucking know. All right. Mm -hmm. If it ain't about me, let's keep key next. Okay. Next up, okay, we have Gordon B. Now, I I'm going to. Just say this. Why are you still here? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? She came out and wrote a whole book. Please, y'all go get it. It's on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wrote a whole book. It's on Amazon. Make sure y'all go read it because at this point, I'm not. But I did skim through it and it said that she's just upset that the family is taken from hers and Jay's son. They're not giving him anything. They done sold a car, sold the clothes, whatever the case may be. She done even brought God into it and said, God sees all. But I thought God had your back. You said God was for you. So if God was for you, then why didn't you... Why you didn't get no car? Why you didn't get no clothes? <laughs> How they sell her car? I don't know. I'm not reading all that. But what I will say is this right here. If you are a rapper, having a wheel is a must, okay? Having a wheel is a must because you know the lifestyle you live. He know the things he said towards other rappers and what they said towards him. You never know when your last day on this earth is. That's the lifestyle y'all chose, being in gangs and rapping violence. Then you need to go on and have you a wheel prepared, baby. Um, on top of that, do you not remember the way you cussed at his mama, call her bitches and hoes and junkies? And do you not remember that? I, me being a parent, I don't give a damn if my son had a baby by you. I'm going to take care of the baby when you drop him off at my house. Okay. But to give you money, I'm not giving you a penny, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm not giving you nothing. You disrespected me while my son was alive in his face. And you think I'm going to give you some shit after he's gone? No. Go get you a nine to five. Go work. And do what you do. Whatever my son did for you. While he was doing whatever he was doing with somebody else, that's between you, my son, and that other woman. But what I'm doing okay. with my son, Steph, is what I would do. I pushed this little motherfucker out my vagina. Okay. <laughs> I carried him for nine months. Whatever I want to do with my son's stuff, I'm going to do with my son's stuff. I am his mother. Yes, that is his son, but I'm gonna take, I will take care of his son when he's in my care. But you are his mother. That is your responsibility. My son was mine. And Thanks. when everything is said and done, I'm gonna say this, J JR, whose name is actually Javarius Brooks. He's not a junior. He's not a junior. Javarius Brooks 
as long as I have breath in my body and I can get up and I can go get it and hit up or whatever, when he, I'm, I'm will always, I will always be there for that child, no matter what. Now, no one is obligated. It's no one's job to take care of Jordan. No one's but hers. And keep trying to live. Because I know that's what my son will want. I know he's turning over in his grave behind this foolishness right now. And everybody was saying, why did the mama have to say that the baby wasn't a junior? She was just trying to let it be known because it's like Jordan kept trying to use that as I ain't like, gonna lie, a that wasn't needed. Cry, like, and then the baby name is the same as J.D. Youngins. No, it wasn't. The junior shit wasn't needed. It wasn't the same. I can count on one mother hand. Anybody that did something from my baby from that side in bulk, I can count on five fingers. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, bitch. I just kind of wing him. Who make show? Who text or anything? See if JR need anything. Not, they don't even got to do that, but they do it. Because that's what sh that's how shit go. Yeah, if it was the other way around, I ain't even going to speak on it. Yes. 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 Young and Ace is checking on my baby, yes. I typed to Ace yesterday. I just talked to Ace yesterday. Ace always hit me up. Junior good? Y'all need anything? Y'all straight? I be telling him we good. We don't need nothing. He be like, you sure? I just talked to Ace yesterday. We was on the phone for like a whole hour. I was just telling him, running it with him about all this shit. Because Ace know. Ace know the real. He know how me and Jay was really f with each other. He know how much Jay really loved his son, bro. These niggas talking on their live, yeah, trying to down talk. But as soon as I post my baby, it's Nelf, Nelf, Nelf. Yeah, stop claiming my baby because when y'all did something for Nelf, when y'all bought Nelf a pair of shoes, Jay buy y'all kids shoes, paying y'all bitches phone bills. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't motherfucking play with it. This is the first time I heard her. Well, that's a lot. The first time I heard her voice is when I listened to this and I was like, yeah, she looked like she sound like that. Ah! Straight the f up. Jay taking care of the <coughs> his nigga, the bitch, they child, whoever. Y'all can't even get enough for a pull up. Come on now. But you got so much to say on the motherfucking live, you can put your two cents in. On the motherfucking live, man, I been holding this shit in. I'm tired of this shit. And y'all think I'm gonna give a disrespect for motherfucker like that? My money? Okay. No. And if they ain't never bought never a pair of shoes or never a pair of clothes or never a pair of this, then stand on what the fuck you said and don't let them see now. Hell, don't let them see them. And just do what the fuck you do. Go about your life and live your life. The one thing that was keeping you connected to them was Jay. Now that Jay is gone, the one thing that's keeping them connected to you is the baby. So you have the upper hand. Just go live your life with the baby and make your fucking money and do your fucking shit. And they'll be climbing, kissing your feet. But now you are money hungry and want money. And that's why you stand on the internet. You want the money and you want the fame. Girl, goodbye. You know what? I wish somebody would not give me no money for my baby or whatever the case may be or whatever, not talking about talk take. I can't. Bitch, ain't nobody seeing them. Nobody. Not now. Not now. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep next. There's certain ways that you could be vindictive with a child. And that's that part is so fucked up. But it's the truth. But, you know, I feel like women be using it for the wrong reasons. This right here? Yeah, nobody would see my child. One, one, one in the chat. Hey. Next on the docket, we got CJ, Nike, and Royalty. Now, I thought we were done with these three, but obviously we're not. You never are when your money runs low. So, Nike came up and she made this video right here saying, how I walk in my baby daddy's life to save the day. Now, I couldn't even get into the video or whatever the case may be because I was like, who the fuck is holding this camera? I know it ain't the baby. Cause look at the angle and it's moving. I thought maybe she propped it up on something. This woman done had her little child record her walking into this room <laughs> to say how she came and saved her baby daddy's life. Girl, 
all them need each other. They all need each other. They need to have a Carisha, Diddy, and Daphne relationship because at this point, they all stupid. Because, baby, you didn't save the day. You just are a backup housewife. <laughs> and that's what you are. He came to you because he couldn't get money there no more. So why not go to somebody who he knows that's going to deal with whatever the fuck he want to do? You said it yourself. You was like, when it was you and him sitting right there, you said... I don't care what he do as long as I'm getting my money. So, girl, get your money and be stupid. But don't say you saved him. No, girl, he came in. <laughs> you just trying to talk shit to ruffle up her feathers. Because, obviously, as you can see in these messages, they still talking. He paying for the pussy from what it looked like. Literally. And <laughs> Definitely paying for the pussy. He trying to make it seem like she chasing him because he mad she on a date with a new man and he talking about he had to pay for the dinner but really that $1,000 was for her to come over and throw it on him, put the pussy on him. Child, and then... Y'all can't believe shit this man CJ say. CJ, it's no hate, baby, but you just all over the place. Do you want to be with her? Do you want to be with her? He really want to be with royalty. He's going back to where he knows somebody going to open the door. If not, he wouldn't open the door. CJ would be lost. You hear me? They all really should just be in a polygamy relationship like Diddy, Miami, and fucking Daphne. Uh, royalty actually lasted longer than what I thought she would. I wish her the best, but from the looks of it, she's still in communication with him. So sooner or later, she's going to backslide. I just feel it. Give her time. She's trying her best to move on. But we'll see. If it ain't about me, let's keep in this case. Next on the docket, we have Tootsie and Smile. Oh. Now, I knew this was coming. When he admitted to cheating on her and brought it to the internet, and she didn't even bring it, and she said, you know what, some stuff I agree with, but this I didn't. When he embarrassed her like that, mind you, you already cheated behind the scenes. And that was already enough already. But when you brought it to us, he tripped. because you was upset that your Instagram mentions was all her, you was feeling some type of way because you know what you did was wrong. And you didn't want people to fall in love with her. And then when that cheating scandal came out, they would be like, oh, Samara, the baby, wah, 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 wah. And then now you look like the bad guy and that would hinder your rap career. So that's why you wanted everybody to focus on your rap. You, girl, boy, I ain't crazy. I love you. You're handsome. You're cool. You got good music. But it's all a spade. You cheated. And I knew it was done. She started deleting shit. Uh-huh. He didn't say she cheated or anything like that. He said he did. So you got some people on the curb talking about some, oh, she's childish, she petted. No, no, she ain't. She got cheated on. And he wanted her to just be in the wayside, be a little, a baby mama, a housewife, <laughs> a girlfriend. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I, just, I knew what was going on. Well, child, they broke up. <laughs> it's always after the baby. They done broke up. Now it's definitely always the after the baby. Oh, oh, this. Oh, I, I be feeling like it's postpartum, but niggas be acting crazy. People bring these children into this world knowing they're not ready. And then the baby got to grow up in different homes. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong. I, oh, I don't like it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I just don't like it. It just costs so much stress and drama. Y'all want to, y'all think y'all in love and want to fornicate with each other and have these children knowing y'all don't even know if y'all love yourself. I need break from the internet. I can't take it. I'm in a bed. Dad, I'm going through this. But then y'all want to have a fucking baby. Fuck y'all gonna have a baby. And y'all ain't even mentally stable. Okay. The fuck you gonna raise somebody else to be mental if you ain't mental? <laughs> Appreciate the follow, Khalil. Y'all be thinking in the moment when y'all do this shit. Ooh, I love y'all be on this TV shit. I love you. I want to make a life with you. I got money. Okay. Fuck your money! <laughs> Excluding Diddy. Why can't y'all just get on birth control or pull out or put a condom on? I don't fuck at all. <laughs> okay. You're cheating and... When they broke up, she said, what, she, what the fuck she say? At this point, I don't believe in love. Maybe somewhere down the line, someone can give me another outlook on it. Whatever the fuck she said. A fresh start is needed. Always bounce back. Then he they said, lie. learn from your mistakes. Grow and be happy with who you are. Somebody gonna scream record. Who that little last line? 
or we'll go to it when it's on the curb. Well, all right. I hope y'all find y'all selves as people. And uh, yeah, I love you all. I hope that baby is finds peace too within y'all's fucked up decisions. And uh, yeah, now y'all can focus on his music. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If it ain't about me, let's get keep this cat. That's all right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, child. You know, when I sit here for an hour, I'll be ready to get the fuck up. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.